Coming up on NT Daily News, find out what high schools will be competing for the Division IV 5A football championship tonight. We'll also take a look at UNT's women's soccer and their campaign for the conference USA title. From the Mayborn School of Journalism at the University of North Texas, this is NT Daily News. High school football team looks to make history. Thanks for joining us. I'm Oscar Suarez. And I'm Marshall Green. Tonight, the Denton Ryan football team will face off versus Birdville for the third time in a calendar year, and the winner will clinch the District 4 5A Division I championship. With Denton Ryan knocking the Hawks out of the Texas high school football playoffs last year, 28-0, Birdville will be highly motivated for a rematch. Besides winning the district championship tonight, the Denton Ryan Raiders will also will be looking to win their 50th regular season game in a row. UNT women's soccer kicked off their conference tournament yesterday with the win over UTEP and are looking to continue their tournament as they face Rice tomorrow. Last night's match dealt with five lightning delays as the ladies powered on with a convincing 3-1 victory thanks to goals from Berkeley Peters and Desiree Ramirez. The Mean Green Ladies tied Rice last week 0-0, so will be looking to win in advance to the finals of their Conference USA Tournament. The Mean Green women's basketball team started their season today versus Mid-American Christian at the Super Pit. The women came up a little short in their season opener, following 61-59 to the Evangels. Despite losing their first game of the season, the team has high hopes following their women's basketball invitational championship loss last year versus Appalachian State. The Alcorn State Lady Braves will travel to Denton to take on the Mean Green this upcoming Monday at 7 p.m. The UNT men's basketball team won their season opener game Tuesday night against Oklahoma Christian 79-40. The Mean Green came out of the gate slow, but by the end of the first half, the team hit their stride. UNT finished the game shooting 61% from the field and 50% from beyond the arc. Their next game is on the road tomorrow at 6 p.m. against Virginia Commonwealth University. The calendar is flipped to November and the high school sports season gets ready to transition from football to basketball. Fewer teams in Texas are as competitive as Denton Geyer High School. With another promising season just days away, NT Daily's Asher Feltman took a peek behind the curtain at Geyer. It's roughly 2.30 and the Denton Geyer gym is completely empty. That is, except for Ryan Barnes. Barnes is a senior guard on the Geyer varsity basketball team and his extra practice echoes the culture that's been built by the Wildcats. With eight district titles in the last nine seasons, the talk around the team is simple, win a state championship. What we've built our program towards is the playoffs are what matter. Um, so I think we've won a district probably eight out of the last nine years. We've been deep into the playoffs, uh, last year regional finals. and uh, So right now we're just focused on getting the next conference in the state tournament. And, uh, just continue that playoff winning tradition. Geyer went undefeated in district play last season at 14-0 with an overall record of 32-5. Barnes is one of their top players entering the 2019-2020 season. Born and raised in Denton, Barnes comes from a family of bowlers and while he still enjoys both, he's found a calling in basketball. He patterns his game after NBA star Chris Paul. You know my my dad actually bowled with him a couple times so I got to meet him and uh, yeah kind of made me like him and watch his games. Those for others and that kind of stuff. Barnes grew up going to Geyer basketball camps and now calls himself one of Coach Long's most valuable players. Well, I've been here 14 years now. Uh, it's my eighth, uh, eighth or ninth year as the head coach here. Uh, so I did get to see Ryan uh, younger at the camps and, and see him. Uh, and it's awesome to see them grow and, and form into the player that he is today. And uh, I've been excited to see him grow and just the uh, mindset that he brings to our team is, is top notch. It's another year and another season where the Wildcats come in as favorites in District 5-6A. For Coach Long, he wouldn't have it any other way. And we're always going to have expectations, and uh, that light is def definitely makes it difficult sometimes. Uh, but that's what we want. That's what we want for this program, and, and we want to stay on top, and we're going to do everything it takes. The great thing about our players um, is they want to play the best. They want to play against the best. They want to be thought of as the best. Uh, they think they're going to win it every year. Uh, so that's the mindset and confidence we want to have. There's no shortage of expectations for the program, but there's an equal amount of belief as the Wildcats look to capture a state championship. For Anti Daily News, I'm Asher Felt. Denton Geyer season tips off this Saturday. After the break, see which NBA team is surprisingly near the top of the standings. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy, when she hit me with her car and killed me. 
As a licensed driver, it's your responsibility to share the road with people who may be on the sidewalk, on the bike lanes, on the road itself, whether they're walking, skating, biking, hydroplaning, hydroflasking, hyperboarding, whatever. It's important to give people three to six feet of clearance room on either side, so we're all a little bit safer. It's your responsibility to share the road. Start a story. Adopt at the shelterpetproject.org. The NBA season is in week three, and a surprising team finds themselves near the top of the standings. With a win last night over the Orlando Magic, the Dallas Mavericks are now 5 and 2 and tied for second place in the Western Conference. Only the Los Angeles Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks have more wins, with six, than the Mavericks. The Mavs' offense currently rakes as one of the league's best, with Luka Doncic averaging 27 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists per game. Elsewhere in the NBA, only two teams have just one loss so far. The Lakers are 6-1 and, and the Boston Celtics are 5-1. and one. The longtime rivals could be on a collision course to meet in the NBA Finals for their record 13th time and the first time since 2010. For the Lakers, both LeBron James and Anthony Davis rank in the top 10 in the league in scoring. It's Thursday night and that means a new week in the NFL. Week 10 kicks off tonight with division foes squaring off in Oakland. The Los Angeles Chargers visit the Raiders with both teams entering the game with four wins. The winner takes over second place in the AFC West behind the 6-3 Kansas City Chiefs. For Cowboys fans, Dallas hosts the Minnesota Vikings this Sunday night. When we come back, we'll look into the story of an unlikely college athlete who is beating the odds. Here we go. We're going to go out there to the raid. Here we go. All right, here we go. Go, bro. Oh, yeah, yes. So much fun. Gotcha. <laughs> I surrender, I surrender. All right, pal. Get ready for the day, buddy. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? What's up? Do we have a gun? A Kent State basketball player made history Wednesday. Kaylin Bennett is the first person with autism who has ever signed on to a Division I sports program. And on Wednesday, he became the first person with autism to score a goal for a Division I team. Amanda Van Halen has the story. The crowd is going nuts. The cheers are loud. And the team is up by what might as well be a million points. But tonight's not about any of that. Tonight's about history in the making. I'm just one person. This humble powerhouse is Kaylin Bennett. He's a freshman on Kent State's men's basketball team. It's good to know that people look up to me, but the real thing is everybody's capable of doing whatever they want to do with my. Kaylin is the first ever person with autism to sign on with a Division I sports program. And now he's the first to ever suit up and score a college basket. A lot of kids dreamed of getting their first college bucket like that, so for it to go in for me, I was really happy. Although right now he's working on getting better and earning more minutes, he realizes his success is so important to so many people. From now on, everything I do, every step I take, I have to make sure it's with order and it's with resolve. Especially to his biggest and loudest fan. Oh he never doubted himself. He knew he, knew he was going to do it. And so all I had to do was just support the dream. That's Kaylin's mom, Sonia Bennett. I'm going to be nervous. I'm mom, you know. <laughs>
She's committed to his success, both on and off the court. She moved all the way to Kent to support him. My son told me that I was going. He said, I can't do this without you. And so if he called, I'm coming. That's just it. Sonia says she's so grateful for all the doors basketball opened for him. Basketball gave him the tools to be social. Basketball gave him friends when he was alone. Basketball gave him the skills to know that he could do anything he wanted to. As he said, with this little orange ball, it could take me wherever I want to go. And so is he. Hopefully I create a thing where it's going to transcend to more kids that they believe in themselves first and foremost. Part of what makes Kalen's achievement so impressive is that his development was delayed by autism. He didn't walk until he was four or talk until he was seven. Dallas Cowboys lineman Daniel Ross was arrested yesterday morning for possession of marijuana and unlawful carrying of a weapon during a traffic stop. An officer in Frisco heard loud music blaring from Ross's car and then ran his plates to discover they were temporary. During the stop, the officer smelled marijuana and Ross also admitted to having a handgun inside the car. Ross was charged with possession of marijuana and unlawful carrying of weapons. Yesterday's Champions League matches proved to be entertaining once again as Chelsea from London squared off with Ajax from Amsterdam in an eight-goal thriller. Out of all the goals, no doubt the one that is being watched, or better yet, laughed at the most, is this one. Watch as Ajax midfielder Hakim Ziyech is sending his free kick towards the goal, and the ball actually bounces off the bar, hitting the Chelsea keeper, Kepa Arsip, Arsip Balaga, right in the face, resulting in an own goal. You can catch more Champions League action later this month on the 26th. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us. For NT Daily News, we'll see you next time.